Can Christians use crystals? All right. Very debatable topic. Everyone's always quoting scriptures, trying to use, you know, the book of Exodus and, and Deuteronomy and Old Testament. And I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break down why crystals, the actual crystal is not demonic. It's the intention. So the high priest would wear the different crystals, right? They would wear it on their chest, the pad, right? The they would they would wear it as a as a uniform. It was required by God and it represents it was prophetic. It represented different things. But they didn't use it as a form of protection. They didn't think the crystals protected them. They knew it had to do nothing with protection. So a lot of new age practices a lot of like you know witches and warlocks they use that as a way well it's in the bible that's why we use it they had to have used it for protection no they didn't they did not use it for protection it's they they it was it was a prophetic declaration there was different meanings behind each crystal and what it meant but they didn't use it for an intention they didn't use it like this protects me oh this is for this no it was it was it was it was like me i wear this right this is an eagle right you see an eagle right here to the to the, to the left of me I don't think that this eagle protects me. I don't idolize it. I don't, I don't worship it. it. I don't need it to protect me. I could take it off right now and not have any worries. I don't think it protects me from bad energy. I just like it. It's a prophetic declaration, right? The eagle, the Bible talks about like you'll mount up, you know, like eagles, your wings and, and you know, those who wait on the Lord. So I like that scripture where it says, wait on the Lord. It reminds me to wait on the Lord. It's a prophetic dec declaration, but I, I know this don't protect me. This doesn't make me mount up like my, my wings like an eagle it doesn't make me more prophetic it doesn't none of that it's just i like gold i like the way it looks and i like eagles because it reminds me of that scripture but i know that i don't need it to remind me it's like when people have crosses in their homes or scriptures on the wall it's a reminder but you should never go to a cross in the house and be like and bow down to it and be like oh that's what catholics do they bow down to saints they bow down to statues they bow down to different things thinking these things protect them when all they are supposed to do is push you back to Jesus, point you back to Jesus. You don't idolize a saint. You don't idolize a person. You don't idolize them. You see what I'm saying? So like, let's say like I have a, 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 a statue of me in my home. Does it make it demonic? No. The statue is not, I don't worship the statue. It doesn't protect me. I just like, so let's say someone made a statue for me that, that looked, that, that was me. And just just for decoration because you know just to bless me they gave me and donated it to me okay that's dope cool but i don't worship it i ain't bowing down to it and kissing it and putting money in front of it that's an altar that's what they do in witchcraft they do that in santeria and voodoo santa muerte they do it in all these different spiritual new age witchcraft practices they bow down to statues they bow down to idols that's that's, the, that's going against the first commandment so sage there's this big movement now where people wear it because they say it protects me from bad energy just like the sage just like just like the the evil eyes like it's supposed to protect you from evil you already are literally living in idolatry you don't need a crystal to protect you and then people say well i don't wear it to protect me i just like the way it looks do you really do you really uh check your heart are you really wearing it because you like it or are you wearing it because you you really are trying to have an intention behind it you see you got to check your heart and also the bible says don't be a stumbling block right I don't want to be a stumbling block. So I wouldn't go wearing a crystal as a pastor because I like the way it looks. If I know it can cause others to stumble. The Bible talks about that. Let's say, for example, yoga. I know that going to a yoga studio and doing ohms is demonic. Ohms is a Hindu practice. It, allow, it literally allows a kundalini spirit in, and which is a demon. It's a, it's a snake spirit. I don't do that. And you're, you're bowing down to idols. And when you go inside of a, of a yoga spot, you see all the idols around. They have all the little statues, the little Buddha statues and the little Ganesh statues. And they're bowing down to idols. They worship these false gods, these demons. So as a pastor, can I go and say, hey, well, I'm going to go do yoga because I like to stretch because the stretching isn't demonic. It's just the, it's the, it's the uh, idolatry. So I can go, I'm going to go to a yoga studio and I'm going to do yoga. And I'm just going to say in the name of Jesus the entire time, do no ohms, bow down to no idols. So I'll be okay. Is it okay? No. You know why? Because if I'm in this yoga studio and, and Johnny, who just got saved yesterday, got baptized filled with the Holy Spirit, walking by because he's at the gym and he says, oh, look, it's Pastor Rich doing yoga. Now Johnny, poor little Johnny thinks, oh, I can go do yoga and do ohms because Pastor Rich doing, is doing it because now I'm a stumbling block. If my brother believes that pork, I, like 
I, he shouldn't be eating it because he doesn't want to eat something unclean. I'm not going to eat pork in front of him. I could be a stumbling block. I'm going to, by, by my love, by my conscience, okay, this brother don't believe that he can eat pork. He, he's still like kind of legalistic. He's under the law. He doesn't know that God says in the Bible, what he made clean is clean, that we're not under that. But okay, he still believes in that. He hasn't caught it. I'm not going to sit there and eat pork in front of him and be a stumbling block because the Bible says what you, what you believe is, 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 is sin. If you do it, it's sin. So like, if I believe, you know, you have to practice, you have to go to church on Saturday or, or it's not, or, or you're not practicing the right day because Saturday is the Sabbath, the Sabbath. If I believe Saturday is the Sabbath and I must go to church and I don't go, I'm sinning because I'm, I'm going against my own conscience. That's what the Bible talks about. And the, the, the Bible is supposed to clear that up. The Bible is supposed to wash your conscience. The Bible is supposed to show you, you don't have to go to church on Saturdays for it to be special and holy. Jesus is the Sabbath now. Every day is a Sabbath day. Every day. Because we're in Christ. He is the Sabbath. He is the law. The fullness of him is everything we need. We just need Jesus, right? That, that's, all, that's all we need. But sometimes people need time to catch that. They need deliverance. They need healing. They need to go through some breaking to get rid of that religious spirit. It's the same thing with crystals. I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, my intention for the crystal is that it looks pretty and wear it around my neck and preach or be around other Christians who, who are obviously know that other people wear it for the intention of protecting them from from good and from from um from evil i'm not going to do that so why why would you go do it you know what i'm saying it's ignorant as a christian you're not supposed to be doing that why would you go literally represent what the satan is doing you know what i'm saying it's like me wearing a shirt that says the devil is is uh is amazing but like but like am i but i'm a christian and i tell people well, i just like the brand i'm not going to go wear a brand that says the devil is amazing that's blatantly obvious. Then people get really crazy. Well, Jordan is a demonic this and that. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Look, I'm talking about blatantly evil. We have to use wisdom, my brothers and my sisters. Blatantly evil, like Satan on it. These crystal things, the intention is to protect you from negative energy. It is idolatry. It's demonic. And it allows a literal demon to have legal right over your life. The minute you start wearing it with the intention to protect you from evil, you have opened the door to a legal right in your life and a demon can come in. It's like a, it's essentially in the spirit realm, like a checkpoint for, for a demon. That's why you see in public when I tell people to take it off and they take it off, they get delivered, they get healed, they get touched by the Holy Ghost. They start crying because they're like, yo, like, what the heck? Something really just happened. Yeah, something just happened. The demon had to go because you didn't, you weren't wearing the necklace no more and you repented. You broke the legal right by the blood of Jesus. So now I got to go. They don't even know what's going on in the spirit realm. The Bible says my people will die for lack of knowledge. And the first commandment, put no other gods before me. When you wear a crystal, you're literally with the intention of putting the crystal god, idolatry, which is a, which is, is Luciferian, it's demonic. You're putting that demon over God. You're saying that demon protects me more than you do. I need a crystal to protect me. You're, it's like putting up a middle finger to God. No cap. Why would you do that? We have the most powerful, amazing God who is in control of everything. Why would we go and say, forget you, I don't need you, I'm going to wear an object. Why would we why would we worship the creation rather than the creator? Rebuke the devil and, and 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 call on Jesus' name. We don't need that stuff, man. Get rid of it, man. For real. Put your trust in Jesus and stop wearing them crystals. If you got a crystal, take it off your neck. Go throw it down the toilet. Go throw it in the dumpster. Repent of it. I guarantee you, you'll you'll get freed of a lot. Depression. You'll get freed of anxiety. You'll get freed of fear. All those. Most people that are wearing these crystals, they dealing with those demons, demons of fear, anxiety, and depression. Majority, 99% of the time, they need deliverance because they're already wearing a, a crystal to protect them because they're dealing with it. Well, I deal with anxiety, so I wear this crystal. Oh my goodness gracious. And then I usually ask them, is your anxiety gone? No, it's not. So what is it doing then? Protecting you from anxiety that you still got? If it's supposed to protect you, then you should be free. But let me tell you something. You get touched by the Holy Ghost, that devil going to come out and you're going to feel amazing peace. I promise you. I promise you. Come to our church. Come, go on Zoom. You'll get free. I promise you. The Holy Ghost is amazing. He's the highest power. You do not need a crystal. Get rid of it. Throw it away. Put your trust in Christ. Try him out. Repent of your sins. Plead the blood. Your life is going to change. Your desires will change. Your heart will open and you will be filled with the power of God. And God will show you the true purpose and meaning of life. And why, we're, why are we here on this earth? He will show you. He will show you everything. I'm telling you as someone who used to balance chakras with pendulum crystals. I owned 
pendulum crystals they would hang i would put it over the different chakra areas which by the way chakras are not areas of your body that can be healed and and people be like oh well, in the bible mary magdalene got delivered from seven demons those were seven chakras no she had seven devils she didn't have no seven chakras that goes to new age witchcraft hindu practices you ain't got no chakras on your body what's happening is you got a demon that's literally right to the left or right of you when you balance in chakras, literally messing with the crystal, messing with the crystal to turn it a certain way, do this. And then the minute you say, oh, you need, you need your chakras balanced now. And you start doing a ritual over them. You're actually, you're actually putting demons in them. You're opening the door for demons. I'll never forget this. I was with my wife, but she wasn't my wife at the time. She was my girlfriend. And I just got back from learning chakra balancing from a shaman, a worldwide known shaman, shaman from Brazil in West Palm Beach, famous dude on YouTube. Um, I'm going to post his video later, um, my testimony video. I still got some stuff that I, I recorded back in the day when I was in the world. But long story short, I brought the, the pendulum crystal home and I was super excited. I'm a qualified chakra balancer, I had the certificate and everything. Like I took the shaman home, you know, back to his apartment. Like I felt super special, like, wow, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a shaman one day. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was so, I was so ignorant. I was lost. I lacked knowledge. And I came home and I was like telling my, my girl, who is my wife now, Pastor Carlene, I was like, hey, I want to balance your chakra. She's seven months pregnant with my son, R3. Okay. And I'm like, I, it's the right. I felt like it was the right thing to do. No cap. I'll never forget this. It's a pendulum crystal. If you ever seen one, they're very strong. I'll never forget. I pick it up to balance, to balance it. It slips out my hand, falls, and the crystal cracks. No cap. It cracked. And I'm like. Ooh, okay then that was an angel that was an angel knocking it down that was an angel protecting us i thank god to this day because i could have allowed something crazy to happen to my son people getting their chakras balanced and wondering why they're getting miscarriages and and having all these blood issues and women having you know menstrual cycle issues it's because you need deliverance you're dealing with a demonic spirit you need deliverance so get rid of your crystals throw them away i just broke it down Yes, crystals are in heaven and they're in the Bible. Yes, they're beautiful objects. They are. But we should not idolize them and we should not be a stumbling block. My brothers and my sisters, why? It goes against the word of God. We know that the devil's using the beautiful crystals as a form of idolatry to get people to stumble and open up doors. Why would we go there and, and have them? Why would, we, why would we use them? Forget it. We don't want to even be a stumbling block. We want to make sure our brothers and sisters in Christ are well with God and that they're good because these young kids in the faith that are getting led to and fro like the wind, they can go and go get a crystal and think that, that that deacon, pastor, whatever, oh, it's okay because they got one. Now they're over there worshiping the crystal, leave the faith in their whole witch. Now, why? Because you didn't listen to the word of God, which says don't be a stumbling block. You didn't listen to the word of God, which says don't, don't put no other gods before me. Throw away the crystals, man. Come on. We got to wake up, body of Christ. And if you're not saved, you should give your life to Christ. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I used to balance chakras, burn sage, have evil eyes. I used to have altars. I used to be in the streets, drug dealing, all that stuff, fornicating, drinking, smoking, popping pills, everything you could think of. And God saved me. He turned my heart from stone to flesh. And now the desires of my heart are completely different. I desire to know more, Jesus, more about Jesus. I desire to worship him. I desire to read his word and pray. And it only came because he gave me the power of the Holy Spirit in my heart. I have peace and love and joy like I never had before. I married that same woman. We got two kids, another one on the way, about to have three kids. I love my life and I love it. I love it in Christ. You can love your life, but love it in Christ. I love it because God gave me a purpose. My life is on to God. Everything I do is for the glory of God. I love Jesus Christ. I could go right now and never have a social media outlet again, never, never be a pastor of a church, and I would still faithfully preach in the streets. And if you go ask Kevin, who's my videographer, he knows this. First few years of my walk in Christ, there was no camera. And I would preach for hours and hours and hours all day, every day, because I love Jesus Christ. And I wanted to see people get touched by God, still casting devils out, healing the sick. Some of the most amazing miracles I've ever seen was off camera. Just as now God is using this for his glory to spread the gospel so souls get saved digitally because it's a massive revival going on. So just trust me, get rid of the crystals. It's not worth it. God bless you in Jesus name.